Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. I've had a couple people ask me, what is the best GIS software to use? I used to be extremely opinionated on this topic, but a very humbling experience has changed my mind. That is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Before we get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything that you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, professional geoscientist. For the longest time, I had some very strong opinions about what GIS software was the best to use. From college all the way to my GIS supervisor role, I was a PowerArc GIS user. But then something happened that really, really sucked. I was fired from a job that I loved. This changed my opinion about GIS software in a very surprising way which I'm going to talk about right now. However, before I go any further, I would like to remind you to sign up for my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com where I give updates and insights into GIS mindsets. Also, check out my book on getting hired faster in GIS right up there. Hopefully, I'm putting it in the right area. It's called Permissionless GIS. Double your GIS interviews now. I also have a Teespring store where you can get yourself some GIS and geoscience shirts to support my channel. Now, back to the video. How does being fired from a GIS job I love change my ideas about what the best GIS software is? Well, after I was fired, I spent months applying for jobs. I landed a few interviews here and there, but no offers. I also noticed something early on. One answer I gave was really, really wrong. It went like this. So it says here that you want a GIS job. Yes, sir, I do. That's good because I have a GIS job. Tight, tight. Anyway, so we use paid GIS software here. That's good because I hate unpaid GIS software. That's a little harsh. Well, your advertisement says that you need someone who can use paid GIS software. That's true, but we sometimes use unpaid GIS software. But I hate unpaid GIS software. Yes, you said that already. That is still totally harsh. How about I dislike the unpaid GIS software? Getting better, but still pretty negative. Okay, back to hating it then. Actually, I think that's the worst answer you've given yet. So, do I get the job? Let's see. No. Now I hate that answer. Like you hate paid GIS software? Yes. Oh, you almost got me there. Get out. Damn it! The moral is, saying you don't like open source GIS software is bad. What else is bad? Saying you don't like paid GIS software. You see, many companies have a blended GIS system using two or more GIS packages. Some companies deal with clients that use different GIS software completely. Many companies even have their own internal GIS software or industry-specific GIS type software. Don't say you like or dislike any particular GIS software. Don't say one GIS software is better than the other. Here is why. Number one, GIS software essentially do all the same things. Clipping, editing tables, projecting features, imagery analysis, buffers. All GIS software does this. What this means is that you can use any GIS software. Number two, your favorite GIS software may do something well now, but the others will do it next release and maybe even better than your favorite GIS package. There is a GIS software arms race going on. One package will develop something, the other will be inspired to do it. Copy. What this means is that you can use any GIS software. Number three, there will always be new GIS software. Something better will come along. New and better open source, a new massive paid platforms, there will always be something to learn, so you have to remain flexible. 
What does this mean? This means you can use any GIS software. When asked what GIS software you use, all you have to say, I have used X brand GIS software extensively, but I can easily use Y and research what needs to be done. The truth is your skills in GIS matter the most. The truth is your ability to learn new software and adapt matters the most. I have more information in my book, Permissionless GIS. Double your GIS interviews now. Check it out. And those are my thoughts on GIS software. While you are looking for a job, understand that your GIS skills are far more important than the software you use. I'd also like to remind you to sign up for my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com where I give valuable GIS and career information. Also, I'd like to say check out my book. The link should be right about there. Permissionless GIS, double your GIS job interviews now. Also, I have a Teespring store where you can purchase GIS or geoscience shirts. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.